happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm glad you made it to Tuesday. I'm glad you survived long enough to make it to Tuesday. Back to work was off yesterday. Furloughed. Back to work today, and it's time to start a new chapter of my life. Here I go again, talking health foods, talking healthy living, and talking about, you know, doing stuff good for your body. But uh, that's, you know, that's a really important thing in my life, so I'm going to talk about it. Last week or two, I've, I've kind of strayed off my path. Kind of been, you know, doing wrong, making excuses, eating crappy, but making excuses and allowing myself to do it because I thought, you know, I, I just, just could, basically. I don't know. Just haven't been doing right. And um, I feel like crap because of it. And I'm ready to get back on track. I, you know, I swerved off the road. I was riding down this road of just doing good and eating right and just living a healthy life and kind of went on to this, swerved off into this dirt path, you know, into this pasture of just sketchy trees and broken buildings and abandoned houses and just scary people all around and now I'm just like, ah, and I grab the wheel and I'm going to swerve back onto the main road of glory and do right. I was a metaphor, that was a metaphor for just basically, I've been eating crappy lately. And uh, getting lazy. But it's time to, you know, get back on track. Tristan went to the grocery store yesterday. Um, we went up to Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, and uh, got a bunch of, you know, all natural, organic foods and fruits and vegetables and all that. And we're just ready to get back on it. Get back to eating good and, you know, get back on track. I'm also starting a cleanse. If you know what that is, basically, it helps you. You know, flush out your system. Um, something I definitely need to do after going to the doctor. They're basically telling me, you know, you're full of crap. Basically. I know that's kind of nasty. But uh, anyways, I'm, I'm going to start that today. <laughs> and um, just get back on track, man. Get back on track. I've also been trying to, you know, trying to get into some running, man. But my knee is not cooperating with me. It seems like there's always something wrong with me, which sucks. It really gets my morale down a bit about, you know, the gym and whatnot. I've been wanting to run, and I've ran a few times, and it, you know, it's tough, but I'm enjoying it, but my knee just basically telling me no, and it sucks. It's hurting. I need to get it checked out. I, I've just been, you know, I've had all these other doctor's visits, and, uh, Doctor can get a little expensive. That $40 copay every time you go isn't pretty. But uh, it's been like two and a half weeks now. And my knee is just not letting up. So I might have to get it checked out. I don't know. But today I'm going to work and getting off at 3 o'clock to have a allergy test done. To see what I'm allergic to. If I'm allergic to anything. Because uh, my allergies just act up, you know, a lot. Have a lot of headaches and head colds and whatnot so getting that done today curious to see how it goes my brother had a allergy test done uh, a couple months ago and they did it on his back where they punctured like 80 something different little uh, tests on his back and he had all these huge bumps and it was it looked pretty sick so I'm wanting to see if you know if that's gonna happen to me if I'm allergic to a lot of stuff like he was um, they're going to do mine on my arm, I think, but if it looks cool, I'll have a picture, maybe some footage of that, I don't know. But yeah, pretty fun stuff, yeah, 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 I'm going to go to work. Are you working today? Are you, do you have to work? If you don't have to work, that's awesome. I wish I didn't have to work, but I love my job. I love my job. Alright, let's go work. And just like that, I'm off of work. Wasn't that quick? That was a pretty quick work day, wasn't it? Not really, got off early, going to the doctor to have my allergy test done. They're about to poke me with a bunch of needles. They're about to poke me with like 60 needles to see what I'm allergic to. If I'm allergic to anything, I might not be. I might be lucky. I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really nervous. I don't mind getting poked and prawned and prawned, probed. Just kidding. Um, I just... If they say they're gonna do it on my arm, so if I have all these bumps and stuff in my arm, um, it's gonna look pretty nasty. And I'm planning on going to the gym after this doctor's visit, so I don't want people to like be looking at me like, 
Oh, he's got a disease. Oh, he's got some nasty stuff growing on his arm. My brother had it done on his back, and it looked really bad. I mean, he had all these bumps flare up and everything from things he was, you know, allergic to. It looked pretty nasty, and if I just saw that on somebody's arm, like just randomly, I wouldn't be getting close to him. I, you know, I might keep my distance. So, yeah, basically I'm calling you nasty, Mike. You allergic fool. So that is the only thing that I'm uh, allergic to right there. That is the uh, thing they use to uh, like make sure the test is working. So that one don't count. That's the only one, and that is dust mites. Other than that, it's all just the test marks. I'm only allergic to dust mites, which is kind of a bummer because it kind of doesn't answer, you know, what exactly I'm allergic to and why I'm having some issues. But all that says is, Tristan, clean the house. Clean the house, girl. Clean it. I went to Tanger and bought a few things. Uh, bought an electric scale. We've been wanting an electric f food scale. I should clarify that. Electric food scale uh, to weigh food, you know, when you're eating, serving sizes and whatnot. Also bought Tristan a present. She's gonna be very happy. Um, she's kind of getting on this new, t uh, like drinking a lot of tea, hot tea. Um, so I bought her this little cast iron teapot, and it's really cute. And um, I know she liked it. We went to the mall, uh, Linux Mall, this weekend, and we went to this tea store. And uh, they had some teapots there. They're really expensive, though. Like the ones they had, they're cast iron teapots. They they run pretty pricey. And uh, she liked some of them, but we, you know she didn't want to get them because they were too much. But I just went to a store, and they were actually pretty cheap there. Probably not as great a quality as the ones that we saw, but um, you know, I think she'll be satisfied. You know, maybe if she becomes a serious tea drinker, uh, maybe down the line we'll. You know, purchase, invest in a in a better one, but I think she'll like it. So, anyways, off to Academy Sports. I need to get some new racquetball glasses because mine broke last weekend. And uh, I'm gonna hit the gym. Peace. Just left the gym and the grocery store I had to pick up some things that uh forgot the other night. But um, gym was awesome, man. Had a great workout. Got some racquetball in. Sat in the sauna. Felt pretty good. Um, I'm on my way home to cook some dinner. I always hate cooking this late, man. It's 8 o'clock. Um, I've been really looking forward to cooking this. I got a recipe for some sal- like this way you bake this salmon. Um, and I've been wanting to cook it. But, you know, it's 8 o'clock. Ah, I wish it was like 5 o'clock. You ever want that? You ever wish that? Like, you wish you had more hours in the day to do stuff? Like some people like can't you know can't wait for tomorrow because they can't wait to go to sleep, but there's days like this where I'm not even tired. I'm pumped up, really good mood. Um, I don't want to just you know have to go home eat clean bed. You know that sucks. That's life. You know at least Monday through Thursday that's life. You know also like you know I'm gonna see my wife. She's gonna be home at like eight, probably eight thirty. You know and that little time of seeing her, you know it sucks. And I'm glad it's only, you know, you know, two days a week as opposed to it used to be four days a week she'd get home late. But, um, you know, she'll be done with school in the near future, hopefully. And, uh, won't have to do much of this spending time apart at night. Anyways, yeah. Woo! Great day, great day, great day. Let's go cook some fish. Yeah. Hello there, love. What did uh, what did your amazing husband uh get you today? A teapot. Wait here. Right there. Wait. Right Aww, your little teapot, short and stout. Tristan's been on a tea kick. She wants to get into tea drinking, sip sipping on iced tea. Iced hot. Hot tea. This is a cast iron teapot. Getting all fancy dancing with the tea drinking. Cooking food. We got some salad. Bam. What we got in the oven here? We got some some oven roasted broccoli with garlic. 
And in that magic dish right there is some salmon with parsley, basil, garlic, olive oil, lemon juice, pepper. What you know about spices? I'm excited. So be so be so be so be sound. Can I get him some food? I think I can. Here's the end result. Salmon looks great. Broccoli looking very hearty and healthy. Salad. Just a delicious dinner that we are about to feast. Let's feast. Nom nom nom. Say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. So yeah, that wraps up another day. Tuesday wraps up another Tuesday. Um, quick announcement on our uh, main Glaze Bros channel. We have a new dare coming out tomorrow. That video will be released tomorrow, so check that out. Not sure what time, but it'll definitely be out tomorrow. Um, we put out a video yesterday of a, uh, of a schedule that our videos will be released on our Glaze Bros channel. So check that out so you can keep um, up to date and know when to be looking for new content. But um, new Derrick Kings tomorrow. Check it out. Y'all have a good night.